All right, guys, sorry I haven't put a video out in a while. I wanted to go ahead and put this video out so I can kind of give you an idea of what I've been looking at. I just converted back over to Linux from Windows. I've been using Windows for probably the last 12 or 13 years. Just started using Linux again. I'm not very adept at Linux, I never really was, even though I've been using it off and on since 1991, give or take. Well, long story short, I've got one SSD, which is 512, and I have three large hard drives. All of them were formatted with Windows. Well, when I installed Linux Mint on my SSD, and then I mounted the hard drives, meaning I added those hard drives after I'd already done the install, one of them recognized, meaning it gave me the permissions. It said the permissions were under Richard, which is my name, and I had all of the access. I can create folders, I can delete files, I can move files, all the stuff. The largest of my hard drives said that the permissions were for root only. Root was the owner, not me who was the owner. I don't really understand the thing between what makes root the owner and what doesn't make the actual owner the owner. I don't understand that. So I go online and I'm trying to, I googled it, I tried everything I could to try to figure out why root was the owner and not me and how to change it to me. And the best I could figure is I had to go into a terminal and I had to actually um, CCH or CMOD or whatever this stuff is. I don't understand any of this stuff. Remember, I'm a new guy to this. So I asked several people how to get this done because I'm a new guy. I guess they don't really understand what that meant. I said, I'm a new guy to this. I don't understand the terminal stuff very well. I can install stuff through the terminal as long as I'm following easy, easy directions. But when I'm being told do this and they assume that I already know how to do this and remember what assumption means, right? Well, when they assume I already know how to do this, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. So I asked a few people in a Ubuntu forum and they couldn't help me because they kept asking me technical stuff that I didn't know. I asked people in Linux Mint forum, which is what I have, Linux Mint, and they couldn't help me. Again, they kept asking me technical questions about stuff I don't know. So I decided, you know what, I'm done with it. Of course, I only did this through two days, but I'm said I'm done with it. I'm going to try to figure this out on my own. And it didn't take very long, and I found the solution. It's a lot, lot, lot easier than most of these gurus thought that it was, and they made it so much more complicated. So let me go ahead and share my screen with you right now, and I'm going to show you how complicated it really isn't. All right, guys, here we are on my desktop, and let me go ahead and show you how simple it is. This is going to be quick and easy. All right, I'm going to click on my folder here. Now, since I've already done it, it's going to say that I'm already the owner, but I'm going to show you the procedure anyway. The four terabytes, the one that I had the problem with. Right now, it's not mounted, and now it's mounted. Now this is mounted, and the two is mounted, right? So now you see when I make it mounted, everything shows up, okay? Well, even though it was mounted before, everything showed up because it was read only. So when I would click on something, it would not allow me to cut or copy. It would not allow me to delete. Those were blacked out. Whenever I would right click down here, it would not allow me to create a folder or create a document. Those were blacked out. It was just because it was, you know, um, owned by someone else. When I went in here to permissions, it said root and said read only, read only, read only. It's like that one says root there. I didn't change it. I didn't feel it was necessary. So in order to change the ownership of your folder or your hard drive or pretty much anything, if you're using Ubuntu, anything that's based on Ubuntu, and I have Linux Mint, I'm using Cinnamon, but it's based on Ubuntu, right click on your hard drive, anywhere in your hard drive, not on a folder, on a file, but anywhere in your hard drive. All right, guys, you're gonna go into your hard drive, you're gonna right click anywhere in the white space, you're going to click open as root. That's left click. Once you do that, you're going to right click on an open space over here and you're going to left click on properties. Then you're going to go over to permissions. Then you're going to go over to owner. Now you notice it's highlighted so where you can click on it now. Left click on that. Choose who the owner is. I went from root to Richard and that's all I did. Once I go to Richard, I, I hit apply permissions. And when you hit apply permissions, it's going to give you an updated time in which those permissions were applied. And that's it. As you notice, I can actually do things now. Before I was locked out, now I'm not locked out, problem solved.
don't scour the internet anymore for this particular problem because it's been solved. And remember, if I can help you save a few bucks, or in this case, save some time and make your life a little easier, I will save you some time.